The Week in Review is brought to you by the Jim and Rick Show, After the Show podcast. We're going to be talking about a mom up on charges for tattooing a 10-year-old. Yeah, a 10-year-old. We've got a 911 dispatcher on the wrong side of the law and a movie so scary, people going to it are throwing up all over the theater. Tune in on the After the Show podcast, the Jim and Rick Show.com, or the podcast section of WOMTradio.com. Hello, Lakeshore, and welcome to a Week in Review, where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. For those of you who are still unsure of why there was a heavy police presence at Ron Colley High School Thursday morning, there was a fake active shooter reported in 14 schools in eastern Wisconsin, and Ron Colley was one of them. The practice is known as swatting, and the FBI has gotten involved. There were additional swatting incidents reported in Missouri, California, and Illinois. We now know who's going to be taking over as chief of police in Two Rivers later this year. Two Rivers Police and Fire Commission announced that Assistant Chief Benjamin Minert will be assuming the role following the retirement of Chief Brian Kohlmeyer. Chief Kohlmeyer announced his retirement officially Tuesday night after 34 years of police work, the last three as chief of police. Chief Kohlmeyer's last day on the job is December 23rd, after which Assistant Chief Minert assumes the role. There are still 19 Civil War gravestones that need to be cleaned in one section of Manitowoc's Evergreen Cemetery. The organizers of the October 1st cleanup effort are inviting volunteers to help care for these 19 men's gravesites on Veterans Day. The scrubbing will begin following the Veterans Day ceremony directly across the street that morning. It's expected to be an out-of-this-world experience. NASA astronaut and SpaceX mission commander Raja Chari will be making an appearance at Manitowoc Lincoln High School on Friday, October 28th. The presentation is being put on by the Rar West Art Museum, and it begins at 7 in the school auditorium. Chari will be on hand answering questions from those in attendance, and it is a free event, but it's limited based on seating availability. And in your sports, an MMA fighter from Manitowoc has ended his 36-fight career with a win in Davenport, Iowa. Captain Morgan Sickinger took on Jake Clemmy as a part of the caged aggression card at River Center in a match announced as both men's final professional bout. Sickinger and Clemmy went the distance with the captain picking up a win via unanimous decision. Sickinger ends his professional career with a record of 22-14, and including bouts in Bellator and Legacy Fighting Alliance. You can always find more local news online anytime at chafernews.com. You have yourselves a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.